I'm planning to provide you per each uh, medical nursing abbreviation. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Neil Galvin. I'm a registered nurse in a GOV degree in medical surgical nursing. I create my nursing educational videos to help nursing students and nursing professionals like you with their studies. If that is something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational videos once a week. Don't miss it out. Subscribe now. Hit that notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further they do nurse that's just jump into the video hi everybody wherever you are right now whatever time zone you're watching me right now just wish you good morning good afternoon and good night just in case i don't get to see you kumusta ba kayo kayo ba ay isa sa mga nursing student na talaga namang nag-aaral at naghahanda na o nagpe-prepare for nursing school or may upcoming board exam this video is for you because like i said on the intro this is another entry natin sa ating uh, nursing cheat sheet playlist another medical um no another nursing educational uh, content that I create on my channel. On this one, I'm going to be providing you, I'm planning to provide you per each uh, medical nursing abbreviation uh, and acronyms, 10 acronyms that you can study and you can memorize uh, each week or each day that I, or every time that I upload such videos like this. Now, alam po kasi na napakahirap na nag-aaral ako ng nursing, isa sa mga challenges ko yung pag memorize at pagkakabisa ng mga abbreviation. And let this be your nursing study guide para tulungan ka para mas lalo mo siyang maalala. Now, like I said on my previous upload, nursing cheat sheet uh, videos are supposed to be short and quick. Now, before I go through with this video, I would just like to encourage you to please like, share, and subscribe to my channel kung hindi pa para naman ganahan ako sa paggawa ng video. If you want to see more like this, you need to let me know. If you want me to stick around? Let me know. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and comment down below. Alright? Now, without further ado, nurses, let's me switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Hi everybody, welcome back to ating formal discussion ng iyong medical nursing abbreviations and acronyms. This is going to be your ultimate guide kasi um, alam ko na napakaraming mga medical abbreviations na meron tayo sa nursing. And I want you guys to have like a more like a cheat sheet on uh, um, those, uh, what's this, acronyms and medical abbreviations that we have. Now let this be your nursing study guide. Another entry natin ito sa bagong uh, playlist natin sa ating channel where I create short and quick videos for you to to serve as a study guide. Alam mo yun? So, ito na siya. Unang um, video natin to for this one, for the medical abbreviation. Now, let me give to you um, or differentiate to you abbreviations from acronyms. So, abbreviations are shortened form of written words or phrases used in a place of the whole. Example nga po nito yung vol- V-O-L for volume, while acronyms are words formed from initial letter of each of the successive parts or major parts of a compound term. One good example is CBC. Diba? Narinig mo na yon? CBC for what? Complete blood count. That's one good example of your acronym. Now, medical abbreviations were made to quickly but accurately document. Here's a list of medical terminologies that you should know. All right, so this is going to be a series where you can expect that this is not the first video that we're going to create for um, this one for medical abbreviations because I think that this is really fun. Nanaanlala ko na nag-aaral ako ng naghahanda ako for board exam. I have like this cute card decks with me. I like a DIY reviewer and then I... Uh, 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 I did a puncher and then every day I actually put like 10 acronyms and abbreviation to it and I carry it along with me Any anywhere I go it's in my bag so um, I just pull it out while I'm in the jeepney or bus and then I kind of like um, what's this I kind of like uh, go over it while waiting while I'm in between traffics you know 
So, before I further proceed, I want to make sure that you guys are already subscribed to my channel, Pampalaki Charm Pampaswerte, for today's video. If you want to see a more contents like this from me, you want to make sure that you subscribe because that's kind of like a one way of letting me know that you want me to stick around with you guys, all right? And if you haven't checked out the playlist, tons of playlists I have on my channel regarding nursing education, I'll be putting the links on the description box or click the icon button once it's pop, uh, it pops out because I'll be putting it there, all right? All right, let's proceed. Ito na talaga. Very short and quick. So, AA, small letter A. AA. That's the abbreviation. So, it means um, of each or equal parts. All right. Next one. You have your ABR. That's your abbreviation and acronym, Absol uh, which means absolute bed rest. Once again, that's ABR, which means absolute bed rest. Next, you have your capital ABD. ABD dots or period. ABD dot. Uh, that's your abbreviation. It means abdomen, a body part. Capital ABD stands for abdomen. Next one, you have your small letter AC. Small letter AC, your medical abbreviation AC, which means before meals. Once again, that's AC, which stands for before meals. Bago kumain. Next, you have your capital A-D, capital A and capital D, which means admitting diagnosis. Again, that's A-D, which means you're admitting diagnosis. Next, you have your capital A and capital D, medical abbreviation, which means admission and discharge. Again, that's capital A and D. Capital A and D stands for admission and discharge. You have your medical abbreviation, capital A, small letter D, space L I B, or lib, ad lib, which means as desired if the patient so desired. Again, that's ad lib. Capital A D L I B stands for as desired if the patient so desired. Next, you have your capital A D L. Narinig nyo na ito. All letters is capital A D L, which means activities of daily living. Once again, A D L, activities of of daily living. This is more of like an acronym. You see, we get all the first letter of each word. So we have activities of daily living. That's your ADL. Next, you have your ADM, capital ADM period. ADM period, which means admission. ADM period means Admission. Next, you have your capital A, small letter D, dot, or period, S, P, E, C, period. Again, that's add, period, spec, period. Add, spec, which means admission, urine, specimen. Madalas mo ito makikita sa mga admission order. Lalo kapag ang chief complaint ng pasyente is related to or they're trying to rule out UTI. So, ad spec means admission urine specimen. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to do. Comment it down below. Abangan nyo nga po yung next video upload natin regarding sa nursing abbreviations because, because, because I think that this is really helpful for all of you guys. So, 
If you haven't checked out the other playlists I have on my channel, like I told you, this is going to be very quick and effective. If you haven't checked out the other playlists I have on my channel, I'll be putting the links on the description box. Check that out. And tulungan mo na nga ako, ipamalita mo na sa radyo yung sira ang pinakabago, pinaka-fresh at ang pinakalibre ng Nursing Review Center sa balat ng YouTube. And I'll see you again next time. You have a good one. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Hope you learned something. Help me grow my channel. You are already here. You might as well subscribe. Hashtag Team Kuta. Give this video a big thumbs up and share with your fans. Let me know what you guys think. You put them down in the comment section below. Also, don't forget to check out the other playlists I created on my channel. Let's connect. Follow me on all my other social media accounts. Everything is at Neil Gave except for my TikTok account, which is Neil Gave Official. I would also like to encourage you to follow and subscribe to my Facebook page. It's Neil Gave. The link to all of my social media accounts and playlists is on the description box. Check that one out. I'll see you again next time. You have a good one.